we're here. We are at the whole end of year in review whip parade. Now, in previous years, I've always done this slightly differently. Um, I've always done a year end in review, which basically has been a load of tag questions that I've answered um, more about sort of things I found out about the year, you know, what, what I've liked, what I haven't liked, what tools I've liked. Um, this year I've decided to do something different because every other year I don't think I've ever had like a comparison of where the project started in January and where the project starts the following January to see exactly how far along I am um, or not as the case may be, <laughs> which in my case this year I think is less. So I honestly think that this year has been probably the most unproductive year for my stitching um, yet. But that said, that's still not to say I haven't had finishes. I just haven't, I haven't achieved as much as I would have liked to have achieved. Um, so this year, and I think going forwards, I'm going to try and do something along this lines, which is more of a slideshow with a comparison of where it was back in December of 2018 and where it is now so that I can actually truly see how much I've stitched um, that's the plan I do love a good plan <laughs> if I get the opportunity between now and the, the new year to do um, a stitch with me with answering the same tag questions that I've answered for the last five years um, then I will do that but if I'm honest there's been so much family time that I've been struggling to find even time to do any recording so it's probably unlikely that that will happen but never say never right so without further ado let's head on over and see um, what I have managed to do this year um, so as you can see from the title this is the end of year in review whip parade for 2019 um, so that I can see exactly what I've stitched on or not as the case may be so let's um, let's head on over to whip so I broke these into categories to my best ability um, so obviously the this little bundle is my current whips that were rolled over from uh, 2018 so these are all the whips that I've ha that have actually rolled over from from last year um, so obviously we've got my lovely Haid alternative reality by Josephine Wall um, and as you can see it was started on the first of the first 2016 um, and it stitched on a 25 count magic guide one over one and I don't think I've done too bad on this one. I, I mean, admittedly, for a Hade, it probably hasn't had as much love as it should have. Um, and yeah, yeah, no, it probably hasn't. But I haven't gone out with any hard and fast rules this year. Um, and this year has been one of those years where things have been a little bit tricky um, when it comes to actually getting some stitchy time in. Um, so the fact that I've got so little of actual stitching, um, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not overly phased by it, if I'm honest. So the next up, see now this one, Frosty Forest uh, by Country Cottage. This one was started back in 2017. There's been a bit of a pet hate for me ever since I started it. Um, I've hated the linen um, that it was that the called for linen that it was stitched on. So this has had very little love, <laughs> as you can see. So back in December of last year. You can see I was working on this block here. Um, I think the only thing that I've actually managed to do between last year and this year is to add some more green on the house on that, that block. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit poor if I'm honest. But it has always been a pet hate, this project. Um, I wish I'd broke it into little individual finishes and finished them as little cushions or something along that lines, or even to have turned it into a bit of a quilt. I can't do that because I'd already put the margins for each of the blocks too close to the one above to actually have it as a full piece. So I'm just going to have to continue. And I will continue with it. It's just going to be one of those projects that 
is going to take me forever I think I don't I don't think it's going to be a an overnight project if it was it would have been done by now um, so next up is my lovely Peacock's Lagoon by Heaven and Earth Design um, this one is stitched on a 25 count magic guide 2 over 1 in tent stitch and it was started on the 31st of the 10th 2018 as you can see at December 2018 we had a tiny bit of the moon and this year we have the big moon um, believe it or not there is a lot of confetti in, in that piece um, a lot of confetti so yeah I don't think I've done bad on that the, the moon, the, the big moon, which is still, I mean, I can't believe how close to a page finish that is and I've, I've, I've not finished it. Maybe I should make that bit of a focus for January to get a, to get a page finish on that. Um, so this is why I like doing it this way where I can put a comparison right next to each other so I can actually see them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not disappointed with the amount of progress on, on my lovely peacocks. The lovely evening in the park, Chatelaine. As you know, this is a, this is the piece that I love the most. It is like um, uh, it is just divine, but it can be quite tricky to stitch on it. I need to make sure that I'm always sort of careful that I'm paying attention when I'm stitching on this. So this one's stitched on a 25 count um, abyss fabric, which is a hand by fabric by Stephanie. It's stitched two over two, and it was started on the 28th of the 12th, 2016. Um, this is the type of project where you sort of, you see it and you think, oh yeah, you've, you've stitched a lot, but there's still so much to stitch on it. And obviously the, with, with so much detail and the specialty stitches, it can be a little slow, but I absolutely love it. And I am not at all disappointed, um, with my progress this year. So the fact that I've got those two top corners completed, um, the gate and obviously the top left hand side row of the trees and lanterns um yeah i am i am really not disappointed with that one at all i'm really really happy with the amount of progress i got on that this year um uh, my lovely winter white center this one as always is a it's a bit like the frosty forest one Again, it's not a problem with the project, it's a problem with the fabric. Um, so as you can see here, this one's stitched on a 28 count Tempest Opal by Chromatic Alchemy, 2 over 2. It was started on the 15th of the 10th, 2017. So yes, that's barely had anything done to it, really. Um, because it's an opalescent fabric, I tend to find it's quite tricky for me to actually see the holes for the fabric, for the stitching. That is probably the main reason that I've not really stitched on it very much. Um, more so than the fact that it's it's not that I don't like it. Um, I think once I get down to a bit of colour where it's not so much white on white and it's it's more sort of is something that's other than white, it probably won't be so bad. Um, but as you can see, I've managed to get the top half of his face, which was which was sort of key for me. I needed to do something, so we we have got some face on there. Um, again. Yes, he probably could have had a lot more stitching time done on him, but with everything else that I have that I've been stitching on, it's hardly surprising that he hasn't. Because he's a winter one, again, I only really want to stitch on it when it's wintry or when it's, you know, maybe, maybe again that one will be another one that I'll pull out in January and spend a bit of time working on it while it's cold here. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not an amazing amount of stitching, but I'm not unhappy. The Lovely Andromeda by Mirabilia. Um, this one we had a bit of an issue with the face, so she did go into timeout. So as you can see, she stitched on a 28 count uh, chromatic alchemy fabric in the colorway Cyrus. Um, this one stitched two over two, and the skin is stitched one over one. And I started this on the 6th of the 10th, 2017. Um... I'm not disappointed with the amount of progress that I've made on her because I, I, there was quite a lot of skin that I got done and obviously I got a face done. She went into timeout because I wasn't happy with the face. She's come back out recently and I've stitched a bit more down on the left hand side, some of the swirls. Um, again, I probably could have done more but I think because I got 
a little bit despondent by the fact that her face didn't look right and I know that I need to sort of do something with that and sort of either take some of the face out and restitch it so that it actually looks like a face. Um, I think that may be the reason that I sort of steered more away from this project to actually do any real serious stitching on it. But it's not to say that it hasn't had any stitching done to it because it, it so has had stitching done to it. Um, so there we go. That was the that was the whips that basically were carried over from 2018 into 2019. Um, so where's my... So I did actually write this down and believe it or not, this is where it sort of this is where it all becomes rather interesting when you do it on a slideshow like this because it wasn't until I started putting the slides together that I was like, oh, hold on a minute, how many slides is that? Um, so just for reference, so I carried over um, 10 whips from 2018 into 2019. Um and I started another nine whips this year, additional. But I did finish five. So when I write it down like that, it's not so bad. But it was only when I was putting this slide, the, the slides together that I was thinking, hold on a minute, that doesn't look quite right. But in actual fact, it is. So I only actually started with ten whips at the beginning of the year. Um, so yeah. So the next little section is current whips that were started this year. So this is all the new stuff from, from 2019. So let's get started and see, see what we've started this year. So here we have the lovely mini red queen red dragon. Um, she stitched on a 28 count magic guide, two over one intense stitch and was started on the 1st of the 1st, 2019. So this was a new start um, for 2019. And I'm, I'm happy with the progress, really, really happy with the progress. And obviously this was me trialing to see whether tent stitch actually is faster for me and to a certain extent it is I think this proves it um, because some of the other projects have been ongoing for a lot longer um, and they're one over one full cross and they take me a lot longer um, so no I'm more than happy with my progress for that in in the past year um, we had another new start which was quite recent so this is the Arabasca Rose which I picked up whilst I was at the um, Alexandra Palace uh, stitching and knitting show this year. Um, so this one is by West End Embroidery and it was started on the 14th of the 10th 2019. And I've already completed that section in the middle. So I'm more than happy with that. That took like, that was so quick. And But obviously this is not really cross stitch per se. This is more um, counted canvas work. So, so yeah. Um, love this piece but it is the sort of thing where I'll I'll pick it up and, and do a bit on it when I really don't fancy any sort of actual cross stitch because it's it's canvas work it's slightly different um but I do really love it and I'm more than happy with the progress as, as I go on that one so next up is Shades of Winter by Nancy's Needles again this is a fairly recent start so it started on the 1st of September 2019 um the lovely Caroline from uh, Off the Grid Needle Arts, I think, was the was sort of to blame for this new start because she was showing her counted um, canvas work, and it looked so lovely that I just couldn't help myself. So as you can see, um, I fell down that rabbit hole. Um, I had a few issues with the um, metallic threads in this bit, which. I think slowed me down somewhat but again it is a canvas counted canvas work I'm more than happy with the progress on this one again this year so a fabulous love that I've got at the moment is my lovely autumn promise by Judy Dixon um, again a new start as of the first of the fourth 2019 I love this piece absolutely love this piece when I work on it it 
it's got the perfect instructions it's so so easy to follow and the fact that it's sort of it's more sort of drawn threads um and hardanger and completely you know i'm i'm actually really quite new to all of that i i'm i'm actually loving this and believe and believe it or not it's really not as difficult to stitch as you would think i i actually find this much easier than I ever anticipated that it was going to be. Um, so no, I'm over the moon with how much progress I've got on this, and I'm I'm hoping for um, for a finish on this. I would say before the first half of two thousand and twenty. That's my that's my plan anyway. Nothing like a good plan. So next up is the lovely story keep. Um, Life is an open book in Paris. This is another Hade. It's uh, artwork by Amy Stewart. This was the piece that I started when I um, done my full coverage for beginners series. Um, so this one was started on the 10th of September 2019. Love this chart, absolutely love it. I love the colours and I'm really, really happy with the progress so far. Um, the fact that it's a story keep, obviously it's a lot smaller than some of my other projects. So I can just do a little bit and then move on to another one. So, But really, really loving the progress and loving the colours on this one. And next up is the lovely Castles in the Air Long Dog Sampler. This is really, really recent. So this is a new style as of the 1st of December 2019. I could not help myself um, to start this one. And I'm really, really loving the colour of the fabric and the... Um, silks for you thread that I've gone with obviously there's um, some sparkle in there we had to throw in a little bit of treasure braid um, so that I had a little bit of extra pop and again I love love stitching on this one absolutely love it so that is the whips that were started in 2019 um, this sort of gives the game away so this is this year's whips that I finished um, so these are the ones that were basically carried over from 2018 that I did actually manage to complete in the year of 2019. And of course the High Heels Collection number one by Soda Stitch. It was stitched on a 25 count white even weave 2 over 2. I started it on the 1st of the 9th 2016 and it took way longer than it should have ever done to have finished. But I did actually finish my lovely High Heels um, on the 15th of the 3rd 2019 and I have to confess that it is only just recently that that project has gone off to a framer and is being framed as we speak and I hopefully will have it back in January to show for my January update um, but yeah that that was up that was a, a long awaited finish that one it shouldn't have took that long and the second finish for the year from a carryover from 2018 was um, Spring by Cricut Collection. It was stitched on 28 count um, fabric by Chromatic Alchemy in the colorway Spring at Lakeside. I started it on the 6th of the 2nd, 2018, and it was finished on the 15th of the 2nd, 2019. And this was the one that I framed myself, or didn't frame. I basically finished it myself onto a heart-shaped wreath and it's hanging up in my study um, where I can sit and look at it. Um, the finishing didn't go as well as I hoped it would, um, but the stitching is absolutely lovely. So I was really, really happy with that finish for the year. So next up, um, this is this year's new starts in 2019 and finishes in 2019. Um, so yeah, this, this, was, this was the projects that basically were, were gifts. Is, is what they were <laughs> and of course the first one was um, from this day forward by the sweetheart tree it was started on the 2nd of March 2019 and was finished on the 30th of March 2019 um, this was my uh, wedding gift for my niece um, because she got married as you can see on there she got married on the 20th of April it went off to the framers um, and I managed to have it done in time for the wedding. So that was on cue, I'm pleased to, I'm pleased to say. And finally, my lovely mistletoe kisses by Erica Michaels. These were the, um, 
the little berries. Um, so they were started on the 31st of the 10th, 2019, and I finished them on the 15th of the 12th, 2019, and they went off to their new home. So again, I was over the moon with the fact that I managed to get those finished. And that is it for the year, people. What can I say? See, now when we do it like that, it's so much faster, isn't it? It's like the, the, the fastest slideshow you've ever seen. <laughs> But it does put it in perspective. It makes me realise that sort of I didn't really start the year with that many whips. And then before I knew it, I added almost, I almost doubled the number of whips that I had for the year throughout the course of the year this year, yet still feel that this year I was the most unproductive on my stitching. So that didn't really make any sense to me. Maybe it's because I've got twice the amount of whips that I've actually stitched less on each of them and that's why it doesn't look like I've stitched very much on them but who knows but my plan for this year is to try and be a little bit more productive but thank you so much so huge heartfelt thanks to you all for all of your support for my channel for the year um, the new subscribers thank you for joining me um, the comments have been lovely I mean I get the most amazing comments and the friends the friendship is is immense I, I i couldn't ask for better people my lovely floss tube friends and i do consider the, the floss tube community and my friends because they always leave me such positive um supportive comments i have thoroughly loved um my floss tube channel this year this year i really feel like i've done stuff that's different it's not just me sitting there telling you about what i've done um, and at last I'm starting to feel that yeah. there are certain things that I can I can give back to you know I mean I spent so many years sort of if you like taking from floss tube you know all that knowledge all that information all those tidbits all of those tips and tricks that you you learn along the way but you you I would have never have learned them if it wasn't for floss tube and I'm now just beginning to feel that there is something that I can give back. Not necessarily to all these super experienced stitchers, but definitely to the ones that are maybe not quite so experienced. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I honestly feel that my my channel has really sort of blossomed this year. And I, and I feel that I'm, I might be giving something back to the community at last. So, but no, huge, huge heartfelt thanks to everybody um, who supported my channel um, stuck with me throughout the course of the last five years and fingers crossed here's to another five years so that's me done really for 2019 um, the year is almost at a close today is the 30th of December so we're almost into 2020 so I look forward to seeing you all on the other side and I hope you all have a wonderful new year um, and I will see you again very very soon in January so until next time people Thank you again and bye-bye for now.